Even though he's picking through the trash, he is not a trash bird. Each December, the holiday season provides a break from everyday life. With people having time off and the year coming to a close, families and friends get together to celebrate. At the end of his semester, Derek returned for the holidays, and of course, we had to take a birding trip to see what we could find. We opted to check the lakeshore in Milwaukee. Hey everyone, Ryan and Derek here from Badgerland Birding. Derek is back from Louisiana and it's Christmas Eve day. And we are going to look for some birds that he doesn't really get very often down there, which are some gulls. Then we're also going to try to see if we can find a ruddy turnstone that's been reported here, which is a very late record. So come with us and we'll see what we can find on Lake Michigan in the winter time. With the colder temperatures come northern gull species that are much easier to find along the Great Lakes than in many other parts of the United States. Yeah, I'm excited to actually pick through some of these gulls because we get a lot of laughing gulls. We even had a Franklin's that was kind of cooperating down in Louisiana, but we don't get like the Glaucus, the Iceland. Well, Glaucus is rare. You get one occasionally, but I'm actually really excited to come pick through some gulls here. On He's Lake never Michigan. said that before. I know. It's weird. It's a weird feeling. It can be fun. It's a it can. a challenging yeah. puzzle. We began our search at the McKinley Marina near the boat launch, where we immediately located one of our target species. There it is. There's the turnstone. Where? You see him? Oh, dang, yeah. He's right there. He's in the trash. That's a super late record for this. <laughs> yeah, he's right in the trash. I'm gonna go get the tripod, Let's I think. Let's get the tripod. Let's get the tripod. So you get these all the time down in Louisiana? We do. This one looks a lot darker, though. I'm assuming just because of the plumage. It's really cool that it's banded, though. Hopefully we can figure out where it's from. The ruddy turnstone is a bird of coastal waters and lake shores. They also show up inland, where they can be found in marshes and on mud flats. They are extreme long-distance migrants, showing up in almost every continent. In North America, ruddy turnstones breed in the Arctic and fly to the coast to winter. In spring and fall, they can be seen in other parts of the country, including the Great Lakes. In breeding plumage, the ruddy turnstone is quite pretty, with a reddish-brown back, black and white on their face and chest, and orange legs. In non-breeding season, they sport similar colors, but a bit darker than in spring and summer. Ruddy turnstones feed on flies, insect larvae, mollusks, and other invertebrates. They have a habit of flipping over rocks and other objects, finding food items underneath, hence the name turnstone. We found out this individual was banded in Greenland in 2019 by a zoological society in Denmark, and may continue to hang out in Milwaukee as long as they can find enough to eat. Ruddy turnstones are probably one of my favorite shorebird species. I just think they're really cool looking with the black on their chest, that pretty brown mottled back, and then those bright orange feet. Just a really neat little shorebird. I'm really glad that one is still around. Probably helps that there's no snow so you can still pick through the stuff that's washed up and find plenty of food to eat. There's a little ice there though. Um, it's kind of disappointing because he's picking through the trash. Yeah, even though he's picking through the trash, he is not a trash bird. <laughs> But yeah, there's a lot of... Food to eat? I think so. He looks like he's picked through a lot of stuff. Like I said, I think it really helps there's no snow covering everything and no ice. Yeah, I'm assuming definitely. once we get our first snow, he'll probably be gone. It's actually really weird there's no snow out right now. It doesn't feel right. We set up to get videos of the turnstone and pictures, and he actually just walked right next to us. Um, like, I wouldn't have felt comfortable being that close to him, but like we were far away and then he he went right by us and didn't seem to care. So he's still picking through the trash, looking for food. Hopefully he finds some good stuff. Yeah, turnstones are actually notorious for getting close to people. They seem like usually, especially when they're migrating back south, they don't seem to have a whole lot of fear. Possibly just because where they breed, there's not a lot of people around. But either way, it was really neat to get such a good look at this ruddy turnstone, which I'm very surprised is still here in late December. He's a late one. Yeah. Hopefully he makes it back to where he belongs at some point, but he doesn't seem like he's having any trouble surviving right now. After spending some time hanging out with our new ruddy turnstone friend, we set our sights on finding a gull flock to pick up some northern species. All right, we got the turnstone. Uh, got some amazing looks of that. 
I think the gulls are kind of hanging out in a little different area, so we're going to drive over and see if we can get some views, just doing a little warming up in the car. Um, saw a huge group of them, so hopefully they'll be sitting and we can kind of pick through them. So we moved locations and we see that there's a lot of gulls out on these piers, so it's just going to take us picking through them to see if we can find any rarities. Um, it'd be good to find uh, like Iceland, Glaucus, um, Lesser Blackback, Great Blackbacks. We'll probably see a ton of herrings and ringbills, so those are the two most common we see out here, but this has been historically a good spot to find rarities. Before checking the gulls, we took a look at the other birds that were swimming near the docks. We noticed coots, mallards, red-breasted mergansers, and common golden eyes. Getting back to the gulls, we scanned the hundreds of them that were loafing. After a few minutes, we picked out two that were different. Oh, we might have a Glaucus. Yeah. Yep. Don't see any black wingtips on that. I sucker. don't see any black wingtips on him either. Looks Glaucusy to me. The Glaucus skull is the second largest gull species in the world. They are white with a thick bill, gray wings, and white wingtips. Juvenile Glaucus skulls are all white with tan modeling and a bicolored bill. These gulls eat almost anything, ranging from fish to invertebrates to carrion. Some glaucus gulls live in the Arctic year-round, but many of them migrate to the northern coasts of the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, as well as the Great Lakes to spend the winter. Along with the second largest gull in the world, we also found the first largest, the great blackback gull. Adult great blackback gulls have extremely dark wings with a white head and underside. They have a blocky appearance with a large yellow bill. Juveniles have black and white pattern wings with a lighter head and underside. Their bill is usually black or bicolored. Great blackback gulls can be found in Europe and eastern North America, where they are numerous along the Atlantic coast. Each winter, some of them move into the Great Lakes region, where they stand out among the smaller gulls. This particular bird was a juvenile and didn't have its adult plumage yet. It's been good. I mean, we got a black-backed and a blockus, so... Do you think there's anything else success. for us to pick out of I'm sure there? there's other stuff out there. It's just if it's going to be in a place where we're able to get a good look at it. Because right. even the ones we've seen, birds have now come in front, and so if when we showed up, it was like that, we may not have seen it. Give it another once-over and then head out? Yeah, I think so. We continued to scan the rest of the herring and ring-billed gulls on the piers, but couldn't find any other notable species. We did, however, spot some house finches in a nearby tree before calling it a day. All right, well, we're wrapping it up here at the lakefront. Got the ruddy turnstone, picked out a couple cool gall species, so I'd say it was a pretty productive day. The holiday season is always a special time of the year. For me, taking some time on Christmas Eve searching for birds with my brother was certainly a great way to spend it. It was fun to see some of the usual winter migrants, along with one that still had yet to make its way south. Hopefully, we will see some more interesting birds as the year comes to a close and in the year ahead. But until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding. That's just how it's going to be, I guess. <laughs> you wanted this. Remember, you wanted this. Yeah.